everyone. Welcome to Digital Charcuterie. This is James. Give us a like and a subscribe. If you like the content, it actually means a lot to us. It takes no time on your hands whatsoever, but it really is something that we appreciate here at the channel. Uh, we love seeing all our new recent subscribers. Got to talk about something huge right now. This is coming from Variety, and Variety, as you know, is legit. This is a, a real publication that is in the know, and they've got some stuff going on about the DC World WB after the merger. And look, everyone here knows I'm a huge Snyderverse fan. I have loved those films, but it is starting to really become apparent now after we've been hearing so much up and down speculation towards this and that but now it seems to be coming from the horses this is from variety okay they're th they're basically saying that the snyderverse uh might be going away it might be going the way of the dodo maybe not maybe put to the side i think put to the side is how we're gonna have to do it but the good news i guess i guess if you could take anything away is that they're actually going to focus on these films now they're looking for a kevin feige type now is that good yes and no one thing that people have to remember with kevin feige is kevin feige just didn't become Kevin Feige, right? They didn't just make Iron Man and all of a sudden he was Kevin Feige. He went through the pains, you know, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. He's been around for a long, long time. Don't forget Feige produced The Punisher, the 2004 Punisher, which I'm a huge fan of. But he, you know, he had growing pains. He learned the process. So you can't just pluck someone and make them the Feige. And one thing, I, you know, I bring up Star Wars because of my stuff over at Rebel Scum, but one thing about Star Wars that really, that really, really intrigued me and I think they're doing right over there is Jon Favreau. And Jon Favreau, he learned from Feige. Feige, Feige learned throughout his career. So you have that. So you can't just pluck a Feige. You can't just say like you are the next Feige. That's not going to work. You need to have somebody in charge who understands the process, the filmmaking process as a whole, obviously, but also the material that you are dealing with, the DC Comics lore. And I think that's one thing that all the Snyder fans really appreciated was that Snyder understood that lore. The problem that they're having is that the executives at Warner Brothers didn't, so they pushed him aside and now he's happy over there. Maybe he'll come back. I'm not saying that. But right now they are looking for this. They are looking to propel the DC universe in a more Marvel direction whether or not that is the right course I don't know but maybe you know this Feige ish person they grab will understand that and take it on a different trajectory but one that is as successful as Marvel but differentiates itself like the Snyder once did that was the juxtaposition between the Snyder and the Marvel films it was brilliant I thought what he did was fantastic but uh, they're not just talking about Snyder they're talking about Joker and Batman and all those movies and, and Aquaman and Aquaman and the Batman they, they the great movies that made a ton of money and Joker they made a ton of money but they don't connect there's no connective tissue there and that's something that they're trying to rectify over at DC right now so it looks like they're moving on from what they had and they're going to do this and is that the reason for the flash being pushed you would think that something like that they'd want to actually make come out sooner so they can get past it and start this new thing but it looks like they're going to bring somebody in so it won't be Hamada it won't be Emmerich it's going to be somebody new that's going to oversee all of DC films all of those comic characters those franchises they're going to make a coherent story over there and we heard you know that they seem to be on the right trajectory I think what Emmerich said about getting creative first filmmakers is, is a great idea I figure out how to make that combine together and I think you know whether you like Peacemaker or not pe what Peacemaker did at the end with the Justice League was he brought in Zack the Snyderverse into Peacemaker which was something that I don't think any of us were really expecting to to happen but it happened and it was I thought it happened uh, beautifully and I actually thought it was very organic and it didn't feel like Peacemaker was taken out of his world and put into that world it kind of felt like they blended together and they meshed well whether you like the context of that story or not that's fine but I, I thought that it worked well and I appreciated that it was like okay this is where it takes place that's fine um, but anyway this is this looks like the plan on DC I uh, don't hate me I'm, I'm just the, the messenger right now reporting what I've read from Variety. There you have it. DC looking for a Feige. Complete overhaul seems to be happening over there. We're going to find out. But don't forget, Zack Snyder's working on the Rebel Moon universe. The Army of the Dead universe got some really fun stories coming up about those. Some videos coming up about those in the future. I can't wait to discuss those further. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. But until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.